Headset USB cord replacement. Hey, so I have this Plantronic gaming headset and I'm doing a lot of gaming and a couple of my friends have been complaining of popping noises coming out. I believe it's because of the cord. The cord is PVC coated. It's really kinked in some areas. There's a couple spots where the PVC coating is being removed. So what I'm going to do in this video is remove this old cord and replace it with a nice braided USB cord. This is just a generic uh, USB 2.0 extension cord. Um, you want to make sure you get that, not like one of those USB-C cords, because USB-C cords, they have a different wiring spec than a, just a generic USB 2.0 cord. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is uh, basically take this apart and see what's underneath here. Um, so this is just kind of like a little gasket sort of thing, just comes off like that. And we'll unscrew these. So you can see this cord right here is the USB cord. <clears throat> And it's soldered in five points here, or, or six. Uh, red wire, white, green, black, and then there's two soldering points for the uh, ground. So we're going to desolder these and then remove the cord entirely. And then snake the new cord up and resolder everything. Alright, I'm just going to apply some heat to these soldering joints and kind of lift up to pull the wires away. There we go, there's one. Alright, good. So I'm going to inspect it, make sure there's no solder bleeding over, it looks pretty good. So. It looks like this cord actually loops around here, so I, I'm going to have to take this off. There we go. Good. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is prep the new wire. We want to keep this end, because this is the end that plugs into the USB port but we can get rid of this end. Now this is braided. Um, there's a couple different ways we can try doing this. I think I'll try to cut this part off first. If that doesn't work, I'll just cut it here and then we'll take a chunk of the braiding off. So let's see what we can do here. Well, you know, this is stuck to the braiding. So with all that, you know, I'm just gonna Now this braiding, we're gonna probably do probably do about two inches here. And then so I'm just gonna cut the braiding. Oh and I got the sheathing too. So I want that braiding to stay, so I'm just gonna wrap it in some electrical tape. Now, if we compare the old wire to the new wire, you'll see the new wire is a lot thicker because of that braiding. So, I'm not going to be able to feed it through here because this gasket is too small. So, I'm just going to remove this gasket. And we'll do that by removing these four screws. So there's that, and then that. So I think I can just push it, just push that through, see? And then we can pop that on, but first I'm going to actually feed this through. Yeah, you know what? That electrical tape is making it harder. So I'm going to take the tape off and then reapply it. Feed this through here, 
Alright, there we go, good. And then I'm actually going to feed it through here too, and then I'll reapply the electrical tape on the other side. Okay, you can see the braiding's already started to go down because it's just loose. So, it's it's all the way through there. Let's uh, let's just wrap it up so it doesn't loosen up anymore because we want to keep that braiding on there. So I'm just gonna take this. There we go. Okay, so since we got that on, put the rest of the stuff on here. Just put this on. That. Okay, so that's on there. Let's move this stuff back over here. No, the way I have this, it's all the way down here. I'm gonna back here. There we go. I'm gonna put the actual bolt this right forward. So we've got all the same wires. Got ground. And it's going to be. This is the the order. It's going to go ground from left to right. Ground, black, green, white, and red. Now, in case you don't remember or you have a hard time remembering, you can do what I did and take a picture. So it's red, white, green, black. Going from right to left this time. Red, white, green, black, ground. Ground, black, green, white, red. Okay. So just take a picture of anything that you're doing. And that way, if you have a bad memory, you can just remember it. All right, so I don't know what gauge this wire is. It's pretty small. Point two. Is that right? Green. I don't know. White green. The red light looks over here. Point five for red light. I think. And then you're just just gonna give these a little twist. All right, I'm going to pre-tin these. What basically, that means is. You're going to add solder to the wires. And so what I'm doing is I'm heating up the, the wire with the soldering iron and then putting the solder on the wire so it just goes on them. So we're going to do red here. And then red, white. This is one of the benefits of doing the pre-tinning. There you go. Green, yep. black, yep. I'm trying to find a good angle for the for me to hold the, the ground because it needs to be done twice. All right, helping hands. see this but this ground wire is way too long I just want it to be just long enough so it's not hanging off so just like that and it's kind of thin it's hard to see all right clean off the soldering iron turn it off all right you see that we got red white green black and ground solder twice now we can Put this back on. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be glad to answer them. I'm really excited that I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers. It would be really great if you could like and subscribe to this channel. And also I'm trying to build up my Instagram following. So if you go over to my Instagram account and follow me there, that'd be great. I'll put a link to that in the description. I hope you have a great day. And again, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Test, test, Thanks, test, bye. Test, test, test.
Test, 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 test. Test, 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 test. Hey, it's working.